Pagnotti. How you doing? Thought you'd be selling used cars by now. <laughs> what a jab! I thought you would have invested in some new clothes, being a team owner and all. I see you still rocking that Goodwill look. Freak, what are you hanging around with this guy for? You know he's bad company, right? Got no choice. He helps me pay the bills. Plus, our mother loves him. Thank you all for coming by on such short notice. Well, so you know why we're here, right? Not really. You want to negotiate an extension for Freak, right? Well, since you mentioned it, your client is quickly becoming a liability for this organization. We've already put a plan in place that's finish, going to address Dom, all your concerns please, and issues. Let me finish. Thank you. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep and were fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. I told you Vic was going to be your downfall, and I was right. Something what I don't understand is now. that they don't actually show any of these incidents. They mm -hmm. only showed the one time when Vic was like, F-O-F! <laughs> that was it, yo, he's a little bit drunk. Yeah, and they were like, it's an incident. Yeah, I don't, so I don't understand what is going on with it. Because if you're good enough, that morality clause doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter at all, yeah. I mean, I'm being serious, look at LeBron. Because, like, I know he hasn't had any huge scandals in terms of, like, illegal shit. But, like, do you remember when they traveled to China and some of the NBA players were literally speaking out about the human rights violations that oh, were yeah. allegedly going on with, like, the, I think, Wuton? Like, in terms of, like, the... Or Wuhan, sorry. Uh, in terms of, like, the, the alleged camp there with how Islamic people are being persecuted. Yeah. And LeBron stood up for China during that, remember? He, like, straight up was saying stuff like, you guys shouldn't be saying stuff about that. Like, yeah. And yeah. he did that again when somebody said something similar about that, and he was like... You know, you're uneducated on that topic. Like, literally just shilling for another country. That's awful. When his own country's people were, like, shitting so on him. So dumb, dude. And it's yeah. like, doesn't that violate a morality clause? That, like, you're basically being un-American at that You point? would think, yeah. That's anti-patriotic is what it is. But it just doesn't work. Traitor! No. Because if you're good enough, those things don't matter. Unless it's, like, unless it's like Ray Rice in the elevator and we see it happen. Yes. Then yes. it's, like, unavoidable. Right, right. But, like, how many of these guys have had, like, sexual assault allegations? They just seem to disappear. Or they, they end up playing again. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, there's a ton of them who will, like, they'll get, like, a small suspension, then they're back on the field quickly afterwards. Yeah, like Freak. Like Freak. He killed the guy. Well, Freak, to be fair, his nose is constantly tickling the cheerleaders between the legs, but he can't help it. Like, when that thing gets going when he's, like, on a streak, that's just up there. <laughs> it's pointed down, so he's really got to work his way up there, yeah. though. My alternate universe freak doesn't have to work for it at all. That's he true. He can reach him from across the court. <laughs> I got it. Some nights I don't. Some days I might even show up a little late to shoot arounds. But every time I'm on that car, I've always given my best. And I see how it is, though. I mean, us players got to be loyal to you, but you don't have to be loyal to us players. Try to give me some father and son talk, talking about how you love your players and how you look up for them. Come on, man. You trying to cut me off like you cut off Izzy. Don't you have people loyal to you no matter what? People you can't cut off? Well, that's me and Vic. Vic and me. Y'all insist, really. They could tell me stop hanging with Vic. What makes you think they won't tell me stop talking to you? You remember in seventh grade, some guys were trying to jump me over some girl. Vic was the one to get some friends just to walk me home. And when they came, we went at it, but I wasn't alone. When I got my scholarship, it was Vic who put the word on the streets that nobody should mess with me because I had a future. Vic was protected. I think that the team owner is just distracted by our gray sweatpants and what's going on down there. <laughs> Freak, are you aroused right now? <laughs> because I am. And I can work on a mutually beneficial deal for you to stay with the Pacers if you'd like. <laughs> CC, clear the desk. Your brother and I have work to do. Dom, you can watch this. Film it. It's Dom, press. it's time for you to enact your name. I'm confused about, like, what Spike Lee was going for with the theme of this. Like, was it believe in your friends even if they're, like, shitty? Insane. Yeah. Or even even though that, that team owner's kind of right about this, he also was being racist. So, like, you're not going to side with him anyway. Yeah, yeah. Even if we're similar and we both killed a man, we can't bond over that. No, absolutely not. When did this happen? Vic attacked one of our teammates? 
they all know your relationship on Twitter. So they think it's coming from you. But that's the media blowing everything out of proportion as usual. It's not just the media. He's attacking other players, other teams. He's out of control. Vic just doesn't know how to behave. We got guys on our squad who don't want to be here because of that beef. There is no place for that kind of inappropriate behavior in this league. If you can't trust your teammates, who can you trust? What Vic is doing isn't right. He's bringing you down, and people can see it. I see how all the other players are looking at you. Oh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. What, don't talk to him? Don't hang with him? You do what you got to do. That's your call. But let me tell you this. You asked me if I had friends that I couldn't cut off. Yeah, I did for a while. Friends, business partners, girlfriends, wives, family that I thought I couldn't cut off. But I learned that sometimes you got to make the hard decisions. I mean, some of these people, they were just bad for me. They were bringing me down. They weren't making me better. They were good for the time that they were there. But I grew up. Wait, wait, okay, okay, wait a second. So this guy is just a dick. He he outgrew his wives. He outgrew all of his friends. I feel like you're the problem. I think he is. He's the common no, denominator. This, this is how you do it. This you are the common things. denominator. You're right. I'm telling you, no, this is how I do things. I got better than everyone. I own it's a like team. That, like, it's like that rant from Homelander. I am better than all of you. <laughs> you remember this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's literally that. The next move is yours, freak. I already know where I stand. The clan. Where do you stand? <laughs> anyway, I hate this team owner. He sucks. This is messed up. You take a moment to think about it, but think long, think wrong. Think long, think wrong. I get long. <laughs> you're in a thong. <laughs> Show me your dog. <laughs> That's a nice schlong. No, we don't have an HR team here, so I can say what I want. <laughs> he is the HR I'm team. I'm HR. Literally, he could never work in our day in his life. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> no. I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. How did you kill Izzy? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> and the team owner and Freak get together and they put Izzy down. Kind of like in, uh, uh, what is it, The Grapes of Wrath? No. What's the, uh, the story with the guy and his mentally Please. disabled friend and he has to put him down? Oh, of mice and men. Of mice and yeah, men. We yeah, just yeah. reenact that and we dump Fix's body <laughs> in the same place where, where uh, Dirt Izzy's Dirt Bike Donnie is. is. <laughs> Do Rick Dottie, Izzy, and this other guy? <laughs> They're all together. <laughs> Cece. Yvette. Where's Dom? I had him call you. I'm the Dom today. <laughs> Legend says Dirt Bike Donnie's like still in a custodian closet. They never found his body. <laughs> Did you know that Dirt Bike Donnie was actually uh, related to... People say he was related to Robert Downey Jr. Dirt Bike Donnie was? <laughs> yeah, they actually called him Dirt Bike Downey, but like there was no junior... <laughs> So it was really kind of like, people thought it was an insult. People thought it was like just a really off-color <laughs> joke. Bike Downey. So they had to change his name to Donnie. That's really funny. Because they were funny. like, we can't keep doing this. <laughs> because people, they'd be like out in public, they'd be like, hey, Dirt Bike Downey, how you doing? They'd be like, hey, what'd you say to him? Unbelievable. <laughs> you don't talk to him like that. <laughs> no, no, it's his name. Get him. <laughs> Get, him. <laughs> Get his friend too. I don't like the way he's looking at me. They start beating up Dirt Bike Downey, too. Poor <laughs> Dirt Bike. Junior, sorry. The Junior's silent, though. That really didn't help. <laughs> Wait, Dirt so Bike is actually written on his birth certificate, by the way. That's his first name. Is Dirt every... Bike Downey? Yeah. Is everybody who is related to Robert Downey Jr., are they Junior? Or is there, like, a problem here where, like, if, like, if I was naming a kid and I named him Absolute, <laughs> and then he had his last name. Yeah, yeah. So, like, his middle name's Loot, his first name's Abso. Absolute. I'm pretty sure his name would be Absolute Downey. Not Junior? <laughs> no, unless he named him Robert again, then he'd be Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, I think. <laughs> so, Dirt Bike Downey Jr. Jr. is what you're saying. It could be, or it could just be Dirt Bike Downey. I don't know. Now, to be fair, this was never an insulting thing. This was never about the mental. It was strictly applying to his last name. Right. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, think about it. If you have a kid right now and you named him Titsky Brick, wouldn't he be Titsky Brick Jr.? But if you had another kid and you named him, like, Tatsky Brick, you know, Tatsky. It, he wouldn't be Tatsky Br Brick Jr. Are you Jr. just making up words? Oh, you gotta skip this. This is Fergie. Your name is Titsky. Oh, yeah. And you have tits. But if nice I tits. Tits. <laughs> Thanks for complimenting my nice tits. tits you got. But if I, then you're saying that if I called my son Tatsky, then Junior would not follow the Tatsky. Because he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be you. He yeah. wouldn't just use normal names like Bob and Timmy or whatever. Well, I thought we established earlier that his name was Titsky. 
My dad used to call T Timmy. Really? That was, yeah, that was what he, he did. Every time he forgot his name. <laughs> it was a running bit, yeah. Timmy yeah. Bob? He kept forgetting his name, so he just started calling him Timmy. He'd always yell at me to put my hat on the right way, too. Like, Take your hat around, <laughs> idiot! It's really funny. <laughs> Alright, the dinner's done. Also, you're too skinny. Yeah. Eat a burger. Eat a burger, you stupid moron. You stupid dude. I, I like wish my the, son wasn't friends with you. I like the way your face looks. Take it off. Uh, I got a question for you. you. Hit me with it. So, if your wife said to you that she wanted to switch things up and, and she get with Don Cheadle, and she really wanted, I wouldn't blame her. She really wanted to peg you, and if you didn't let her, she would divorce you. Would you let her peg you? If I if I don't get pegged, I'm divorced. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Like you can't be with your wife. Anymore. I have an answer for this too, but I want to hear yours first. Uh, honestly, uh, how many times do I have to get pegged? Just once. And by once, is it like a like a quick thrust, or am I dealing with multiple thrusts, full on pegging for a long time? It's like full sex until you come. Jilly, <laughs> can you censor that a little bit so that I don't have to cut all this out? It's like full thrusting until you are done being excited. Huh. And what if I... <laughs> what if I don't get there? Then what happens? Keeps going. Yeah, it's like it a jigsaw trap. Until, until it's you like get, a jigsaw done. trap from like Saw 7. I think we well, gonna watch different movies, but uh, <laughs> something similar happened. <laughs> that, that must have been in the director's cut. Okay. I, um... <laughs> yeah, honestly, you know what? I think I would do it. And that's, uh... You know, I, I love my wife, and so I think uh, if she was like, listen, this is the only way, it sounds a little bit beta, uh, but I think I would... I would. Uh, I have an answer. I would get entered. No, I wouldn't. You would Here's why. There ain't nobody on this planet who's going to give me ultimatums. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> They're going to give me that ultimatum. I'm going to pull the gun right out of my, uh, right out of my closet. <laughs> right and I'm going to say, say, yeah? Yeah? Well, I got an ultimatum for you, too. I'm How glad to know you don't love me enough to let me... I'm gonna be like the you. Joker. <laughs> That's really interesting that you want to <laughs> enter me down there. <laughs> but I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I have a gun. And I'm not a fan of using an exit as an entrance. <laughs> Batman's like... I don't remember asking you any of this. <laughs> no, dude, if somebody starts giving you ultimatums, you get out of there. I don't care if you're married, I don't care if they're they're related to you, gone. Is this you guys saying that I should divorce my wife? Is that what you're saying right now? What if it's a harmless ultimatum? What if it's like, uh... I'm talking serious ultimatums. Like, I'll leave you if you don't do this. Okay, then we're done. Okay. We're done. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah, For yeah, me, yeah, yeah. we're done then, immediately. I'll leave you if you don't. Let me tickle your AP. We're done. <laughs> it's over. You're off the Let's Play channel. <laughs> You're going into arbitration. Dude, we're killing it. We have two points and a rebound already. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that beat. Look at the thing we're doing. For LeBron. This that's is all for LeBron. <laughs> Freak loves LeBron. Run in the last. Are we what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Why did say, say run, run in the last? last? I don't even know, dude. Why right. are you, why, you're getting too close to this man? You're gonna end up on a list. <laughs> Give me the ball. You're leaving your assignment. You're leaving your assignment. That was good. That was great. Who, Genius. Who just yelled, That's my ball! <laughs> Did that guy who dropped it yell that? <laughs> the coach is, is over there. Man? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, We Bring don't that have, to me! There's no balls left in the stadium. We have to play with my signed Michael Jordan rookie basketball. <laughs> And somebody bobs it. Ah, oh, that's my ball! <laughs> really funny. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> freak as a needle. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to pop your prized possession. <laughs> well, I guess he's wearing the right shoes. <laughs> What'd you say? He's like finishing in a sock the whole time? Is that what you said? No, I said he has his razor blade shoes. Oh, I thought T said that. I said that. It's like using his sock the whole time. T, have you hung out with Winnie the Pooh lately? T, what are your thoughts? Wait, what? Who? Get it? Because his name is actually Tigger. <laughs> That's close. That is pretty good. Very close to my favorite CEO, acting CEO of Google, according to internet meme, Nate Higgers. <laughs> That's what it says? That's his name. <laughs> the CEO is Nate Higgers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With an H. Yeah. Good, 
Good CEO, I think. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing a really good job. The really then I looked it up and I was really disappointed because apparently it was just a meme. He's not a real guy. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it made me sad. Oh, I thought he was real. I thought it was funny. I like when people have like really close to terrible names. <laughs> that would have been really funny. <laughs> like Dick Tip from all those church commercials. That's and true. And Higgers to the office, please. And <laughs> Higgers. Why don't they just say Nate? And <laughs> They drop the ass. You gotta be careful. Let's, Completely let's, let's slow down on saying this guy's last name so that the so that the YouTube algorithm doesn't think we said something else <laughs> on its own. Do you want to play, by the way? No. All right, Absolutely fantastic. Not. I want to play after we upgrade, <laughs> which we should be coming up to the cutscene after this. this is our final game of rookie year. That's true. Our team sucks. That's true. And we're the only good thing on our team. You know. I I thought it was pretty cool when uh, Nate, not our Nate, but, you know, the CEO. Of Google. Yeah, yeah, That's definitely a real guy, allegedly. <laughs> um, I thought it was cool when he put together his dance competition. It was called Dirty Jig and then ERS. I'm not going to say it, but it was about <laughs> doing a jig. <laughs> it's like dirty dancing. Right, but it was just the Google uh, Google CEO's idea of dirty dancing. And, uh, you know, that was... <laughs> I think that was really cool of him to do. I think it was very inclusive. The um, people from China actually misread that, and they brought all their washing machines to the show. Oh, no. <laughs> and they were oh, a little the disappointed. Not they were the a little commercial. disappointed when they found out that it was actually a J instead of an M. <laughs> oh, no. Not the commercial. Please. Put the commercial away. Well, you guys show me that commercial. I've never seen anything crazy in my Dude, life. Dude, seriously... It is insanity to me. People do not talk about the racism that happens in East Asia. It's crazy. Like, they're people, them in the Middle East, for some reason, get a pass on like a lot, on a lot of it stuff. It is kind of weird, yeah. And, but America, though, that's, and Europe, that's where the problem is. It's are. disgusting. It's like, really? Because I haven't seen the last time we aired a commercial where they tried to wash the black off of someone. <laughs> I saw that for China. I, we saw that, and it was a recent commercial, too. That was a real it thing. It was in the last 10 Don't shoot years, your stats. Sure. Ellis, Ellis. He's wide open. Ah, oh, Calvin Ellis. That sucked. Calvin, it's Monte. No, Calvin Ellis was the was the uh, Superman character. What? Black Superman, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, there was also... Uh, that was a good pull. Oh, were you talking about earlier, you and me? What were we talking about? What kind of that's a, that was a good pull. Look, Look at this. I like what you did there. I'm serious. Put the WNBA in these outfits. It triples in value. And look at it really expanding the revenue. I'm not joking, by the way. I know someone's going to say this is sexist, but look. Women are good looking. Yes. Women are good looking. So you got a bunch of good looking women. Now, no one is forcing them to be there. You are signing up. It'd be like the same thing as like trying, uh, I don't know, like, I'm just gonna make some shit up. It'd be the same thing as, like, uh, trying out to work at a strip club, right? And then complaining about what they make you wear. No one's making you be there. So if you don't want to be there, you don't have to be there. There's even better jobs for women than the WNBA. But also, the outfits they already wear right now are, like, really ugly. Exactly. So I'm saying we lose that, or we keep it, and we just cut it off at the midriff. Just show some stomach. Mm -hmm. Show something. It's really, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think, like you said, there's going to be some people who are mad about that. But in, I don't really care. But in reality, it's a true point. Look at, uh, like, they did a... Was a, it the XFL? There was, like, a female Yeah, version. that's what I was thinking. Was there's that like a what lingerie, it was? Yeah, there was. There was, like, a lingerie version of the football. That that went on for a few seasons, I think. They uh, should still be going. They did, they did their thing for a while. And those ladies hit, like, monsters, too, by the way. There's some good hits. A lot of those ladies enjoy it, by the way. Yes. Like, literally, if you're out there in front of the center of the world as a cheerleader or as whatever... One of the things that you obviously crave in your life... Attention. ...is attention. And that's that's obvious. I mean, like, if you don't want that, you would get a job where you don't have to be out there. It's the same thing with girls who go into stripping. Now, obviously, there's people who get trafficked into, like, hardcore, terrible stuff. Right. And I'm not saying, like, they want to be there. Of course not. There's going to be ex exceptions to this. And the human trafficking industry, sadly something that most of the world could shut down if they would just legalize and tax the hell out of this stuff. They won't, though. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you see these good-looking girls who go to the strip club and they're getting into the dance and stuff like that and they're enjoying it. They like the money. They like the, the free attention. They don't like being harassed. 
Which no, some people do. They do make good money, though. A so, lot of them. Well, so I'm sure I, a lot of these women in the WNBA would like their extra millions of dollars. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. And, you know, you made a good point that a lot of them... I'm just I'm just gonna go in on this point. I don't care anymore. You made a good point, T, to me, without being mean about it, and in a much kinder way than I'm saying, that there are some women in the WNBA who are extremely pretty, but there are a lot who, because that's not valued in it, don't at all make themselves presentable for games in that way. But, but when you look at the guys most of them have a style to them, like a specific style where they're trying to be presentable. And look at all the girls who are like, man, I wish I was with Kyrie, man, I wish I was with LeBron, man, I wish I was with, you know, when Kobe was alive, he was like a heartthrob. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just a different type of, like, getting into that sexuality. With men, it happens to be more about power, like strength, speed, power. Women kind of gravitate, not all, but... It's a psychologically proven thing that a lot of women gravitate towards the more gladiatorial, um, manly, alpha sigma strong, males. You know that kind of guy. I mean, if you guy. think about it, the outfits that the men wear are sexy for them. I mean, like. Well, yeah, it shows off your features, your yeah. arms, your legs. Yeah. And it's showing off all of your muscles. It's, um, you know, it's enough to get like it's the kind of material it has is when you get sweaty, it'll stick to your body, sort of thing, to make a it little, little bit. It's not supposed to do that, but it does. But it does, you know, and and they wear the nice little sneakers that are super shy, super stylish and stuff. So like if you think about it, you know, women are looking at these men, they're thinking, ugh, they're hot. Women look at football players and they think, I love those bubble butts. Right, and it's because of this like gladiatorial manly looking um, style to it. You so know, I don't that, understand why it's wrong for women to be seen as hot. Because for some reason society has, has decided that uh, we being, live in a society. Being feminine is weak. So if you yes. look feminine you're weak. Which I think is the opposite of what feminism was. Like, That's where misogyny women, right there. Where, well yeah but most women seem to believe that now. But like back in the day women fought to be able to wear whatever they wanted. Fought to be able to wear a bikini at the beach. And not have some asshole measuring their uh, swim trunks. This was a real thing to see if they're long enough, and giving them a citation if they were really yeah for public indecency. That I was didn't a real thing. Yeah. Women fought for that right. Yeah. But now it's like awful if you have like women like cheerleaders like that, like not wearing enough. It's like oh they're giving a bad name to to women. And what it comes down to is our world has really in its like striving to eliminate persecution based on gender roles has also pushed anyone who wants to express themselves through their gender or sexuality out too. Right. So if you want to be a man who wants to be what's seen as uh, historically manly, there will be people you offend because of that. If you want to be a woman who wants to be seen as what was historically considered womanly and feminine and like show off your body and brag about it and be like, dude, I'm hot. I have huge boobs. I have a nice butt. You know, like I'm proud of my body and like, look at me. I'm cool. Uh, only, that That's shamed by a lot of people. It, it's only okay now, apparently, to show off your body like that if you are a man or like somebody who was born a man but isn't identifying as them anymore. Or a straight up sex worker. Who's like wearing like a, a dress that's really revealing and they're like, Look at me, I'm wearing a dress, you're so brave. Well, and that's the thing, is like it has to be subverting some stereotype, but it shouldn't have to. Like if you wanna be if you wanna be like strong, like peak performance Russell Crowe looking guy, you know what I mean? Like muscular um when he was like young young. Cool. Gladiator that, Russell Crowe, yeah. That should be good, you know what I mean? That should be seen as good because you, you're happy. Like, you're not forcing other people. And this, this literally comes down to, like, I know this isn't funny. I'm sorry, I know it's not. But, like, this comes down to, because uh, this is a weird, serious topic to get into. This You see this especially with women when other women lose weight. It's, like, threatening yeah. to them. Yeah. Like, um, like, if Lizzo dropped 200 pounds right now, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. There would be people offended by it because they'd be like, "She's like a body positivity icon. How dare you?" People I've heard that talked that. about, which is crazy to me because, like, yeah, they're like, uh, if she talked about losing weight, that was even what happened with uh, with Rebel Wilson. She yeah. lost a crazy amount of weight and, and got a ton of hate. You got a lot of yeah people that were furious about it because why? Because she prioritized prioritized health a little bit, maybe longevity. 
uh, and yeah, his she was proud of herself yeah. for it, and then they, they were mean to her about it, and that made me really upset, because it's like, you know, I'm a bigger girl, and I want to be able to get in shape, too, and I think it's, like, really messed up to say, like, oh, that's not good enough anymore, you have to be bigger to be, like, a part of the positivity movement. There should be no movement around being unhealthy, by the way. Mm -hmm. None. No. I don't care. I don't care if that offends you. I'm a 300-pound man. I'm not about to join a community, like a subreddit, about how great it is to be a 300-pound man. You should know better. Yeah, and the fact that it's it's, it's almost glamorized to be big, like that's a big priority now is to be. And I get the emotional aspect of inclusion, fine, but you don't have to necessarily promote it, though. You know no, what you I mean? just like show this? that those people have value, even if they are overweight. Or whatever. Correct. That's, that's the difference. difference. That's for sure the difference. And there there's a, a distinction that isn't being made there at all. And they and, should still have value even after they lose weight. Yeah. Well, and look, if a woman wants, like, doesn't care that much about her health. I'm not going to go out there, or a man, I'm not going to go out there and shit on him. You know what I mean? Right. Like, fine. Um, I don't really care. I mean, it's open to criticism and jokes just like anything is. Just like making fun of Steph Curry, who's like the golden boy of the NBA media. It, even though he probably is a Christian and a really nice guy off the court, I just made a joke about him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. anything is open to some jokes or whatever. But it doesn't lower your value, but also it shouldn't be seen as bad to be like, I value my health, I think or the, I want to be a woman, I want right. to be feminine, or whatever. I think the real problem here is um, a lot of these Jeez, people... Are still on? A lot of these people don't even care about body positivity. They only care about how they can use you to further themselves and their movement to make themselves seem like better people. So if you're larger, they use you as a poster icon to be like, hey, look, this person's large. Body positivity, make myself look good. And then when they lose weight, they are mad that they can't use you for that anymore. Right, because they can't be like, oh, well, Rebel Wilson looks like me. Mm -hmm. Now they have to just be like, well, only I look like me. Why am I big? Well, it almost like, I feel like it, it challenges them where it's like it's content of well rebel wilson i really like her and she looks like this so it's it's fine that i don't take care of myself and then uh she's like well i should probably start taking care of myself but it's like well why i don't want to why are you doing this this is this makes me mad it's like well it shouldn't like you know it should be it's meant to be like those things are shared with adele and uh yeah and adele was the other other one yeah and, it's and like it's, i think melissa mccarthy too a little bit yeah yeah for sure and it's like that those they share that stuff on Instagram because it's like this is meant to be kind of like inspiring like look if I can do it you can do it you know but that's not how it's taken at all it's taken as like an attack which is such a sad thing 69 69 perfect <laughs> that's good. perfect finish I like the idea game. that you're about to make another one freak <coughs> <laughs> he coughs he puts his hand up accidentally blocks it whoops and then the timer runs out 69 <laughs> what'd you say Joe I said oopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Whoopsie, poopsie. Dude, this is where it's going to get insane in the story, by the way. I but yeah. can't wait to see it. No, I stand by what I said about the WNBA. Like, I think there is nothing wrong with women being hot. Yeah. I think the same thing with men. Dude, a man takes his shirt off, and he is like... I'm not bi. I'm just straight. Like, I just am. But if a man takes his shirt off and he's muscular and shit and looks great, you know what I'm thinking? I should work towards more like that. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to be that. I'll never be The Rock. I don't even want to be The Rock. I'm not going to devote three hours a day to, like. to the gym or whatever. But, yeah. but I think I could do that. I should be better looking. You know what I mean? Like, I, I it's challenging wait for it to me. Save. Yeah, yeah. Wait for it to save because sometimes it's, it's weird. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. Uh, well, he clicked it early, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't same, know. Same. So it's it should be the same thing for everybody. Like, you know, when, when dudes are out there doing their magic mic thing, I might not be going out there getting really into it and wanting to watch it, but yeah. I have no problem with it. They look better than me, and I have no problem with that. Yeah. Good for them. Good for you, That's man. great. Thing, that should yeah. challenge you, or you be happy for the other person. Right. Eric, this is an important cutscene. Everybody be quiet. I don't think this really is that important. 